Okay, somebody asked me how I deal with Cat6 cables and terminating them. Um, they're a little bit thicker. If you get good cables, the actual wires inside are going to be uh, higher gauge or thicker gauge. So this is a 23 gauge. I think standard is about 24. And you wouldn't think that would make that much of a difference, but it, but it does. And then if you notice uh, right in the middle there, that white... X can cause some problems uh, when you're trying to crimp if you're not used to dealing with it. Now I'm not saying this is how a professional uh, cable terminator would do it. Um, this is how I do it and um, I've got two different types of jacks so um, or not jacks but uh, connectors here. So um, the one on the right you might notice is a little bit different if you can see it. Um, you can actually see through it, it's completely open on the side there, or on the front rather. Um, so I like these. These are called Easy RJ. Uh, it's a special type of connector, and it does require a special type of crimper. It is a little more expensive than the traditional ones, um, but I had been using this crimper for quite a while. Um, it's definitely got some miles on it, but I noticed I was getting some really inconsistent crimps and um, you know it's uh, partially because it's got a lot of use but also it's just not a very good quality. It doesn't ratchet um, and it was causing me some severe problems with some recent terminations I was doing. Three and four times I'd have to terminate the cable uh, before it was usable, which is insane. I uh, took the plunge and bought this puppy off of Amazon, and I am extremely happy with it. Um, very good quality. Uh, feels really good in the hand. Um, I believe it's made in America, but it doesn't really matter. It just works good. Um, one of the things you'll notice is a little different on this one is there's a little razor blade there, and that'll become obvious a little bit later. So... I'm going to do one of the first ones here I'm going to do with uh, the new connector. And then for that, I, I'm pretty generous when I strip this off. I like to leave myself plenty of wire to deal with. So the first thing I do is just remove the insulation. And then I get rid of this stupid thing. Then I separate the pairs out. And then what I like to do on these is I like to pull this inner core and you notice how I'm pulling the wire up with it and then I pinch down with my left hand, pull these down a little more and I trim this as flush as I can get it. Just be careful not to clip any of those cables. It's really easy to do. You, you wouldn't think it is, but it is. Um, so you trip that off. Now, the reason why I pulled the jacket back is that once this relaxes, this jacket is going to slide a little bit over that core, and it's going to make it easier for us to slide it into the connector. So this is my favorite part here. <laughs> I've seen guys do this at lightning speed. I've never quite mastered that, but it's more important that it's right than it is to do it fast. So this is the was it TIA 568B as in Bravo, which is what everything is wired to uh, that anybody usually is going to be working on. If it's not B, it's something special that you're probably not the one making the cable for. <laughs> I'm curious to know how everybody else does this too. If anybody's got any tips to make this easier, I would love to know. All right, so you know what I'll try to do is get this set up. I kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit. Just make sure my pairs are all lined up the way I want. We want white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, and uh, brown, white, brown. I said that backwards, but whatever. And I just cut off some of the excess here. Woohoo! 
And then this is where these easy Cat5 connectors come into play. This is kind of cool. So put it in, slide it through, and you notice they actually pop out the end. Now, yes, I know you can do this and make cables without this, and you can make good cables without this. But what I like about it is it allows me to get that jacket in really good. And then it also makes sure that every single one of my cables or one of my every single one of my wires is past this uh, crimp point right here. Um, sometimes some of these can sneak back and not get crimped fully. Even I mean, it's I don't have good eyes, so um, <laughs> I don't always catch it. So now what we do is we just place the connector inside. And then we're just looking for those guys to come out. And you see as we ratchet down, that blade comes through, trims them all, and then we just give this guy a little whatever. Now if we look at that, we can easily tell that every single one of them got through a nice even crimp on those gold pins there. And then plenty of jacket material in there. Nice, good, snug. You know, what we're pulling on is the jacket now, not the individual leads, which is what you want. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go back to the old way, which I don't love, but just for sake of demonstration here. Strip off a little bit. So this is where it comes to being a pain in the butt using the traditional types of connectors. So now I have to trim this and make sure that once I insert my cable that my jacket is going far enough that it's going to get pinched by this little uh, whatever you want to call that grabber. and uh, But also I go far enough in that all my leads dead end against that wall because I want to make sure that I've got full contact on those connectors there. So I usually eyeball it and then I give myself a little extra because I'm assuming that when I push this jacket in it's going to go in a little bit further. Um, so we're going to go to about right there. You can use the flush cutters or this thing's got a nice little trimmer as well. And seems right. Okay. So I just another quick check. Make sure our blue is there and our green is there. Looks good. See, now we just got to make sure that, you notice my brown is hanging back a little bit, and that's really annoying. And, I mean, you can finagle it in there, but now you're, you know, now you're fighting with it. And I just don't think, for as little as I do these, um, that it's worth having to do twice. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I'm not 100% confident in this one already. Looks like the primary pairs are probably fine. This isn't going to be for power over Ethernet, so. Um, but say even, you know, even on that one, it's a little, little suspect. So, um, so I don't know. I could crimp this down, and uh, it might be fine. But. Uh, might not be, but what the hell, we'll do it. Now, what's cool is with this special crimper is it'll work on old ones too, so all good to go. Does a nice crimp. Everything's nice and even. And again, pulling on it nice and tight. Now, 
And this is the Easy RJ Pro HD by Platinum Tools. Great, uh, great little tool. And this is the Easy RJ 45 Cat 5U connector. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. Catch you next time.